Well, hello. So you are interested in improving the optical appearance of your robotic operated vehicle, also known as ROV. So how can you make that happen? Well, for starters, all you have to get is a large enough PVC pipe, which is large enough to in-house the propeller with room to spare. That's your first step. Six to ten millimeters clearance between the prop and the uh, inner rim of the um, thruster housing should be sufficient for that. And so you cut the pipe to your desired length, not too long, not too short, obviously. And once you've completed that, that brings us to step two, coloring. I recommend using color foil for that because it gives you a very, very even finish. You can get it on eBay or Amazon, and I do recommend double layering it because the dark color of the pipe does shine through and does take away some of the glow. And it also ensures a stronger coating. So step three, marking the drill spots uh, drill spots for the mounting screws. Let's use a little trick by that because you want to make sure that the uh, holes get as, uh, get located as accurate as possible. So get yourself a strip of paper which is long enough to enclose the entire circumference of the finished and color foiled thruster housing and then hold the uh, two ends together and make a mark with a pencil. Just like that there. And then you spread it out and measure the circumference with a ruler. This happened to be precisely 20 centimeters. So you get yourself a calculator. If it's not even 20 centimeters and divide it by four. What do you know? It's five. <laughs> so every five centimeters you make a mark. And number four. And then put it back around the thruster housing. there and then tape it together and that's an even snug fit which shows you exactly where you are supposed to make your drill spots and as you can see here if you look closely every pencil marking is directly underneath one of the finished screws right here making sure that they are spread around at even 90 degrees now put the layer exactly where you want the middle of your thruster housing to be for the center of gravity and then get yourself a drill which is intended for wood because they got these really sharp and pointy tips and then make those little holes all around where the markings are three and four and then take the drill and make the holes and then it looks something like this now for these smaller housings four millimeters are quite an enough once you get larger as with the finished project here on the left uh, I did use five millimeter holes so how do you assemble these screws then? Do get cone screws and uh, you start by putting in the nut on the inside with a washer and then just pushing them to the outer side of the uh, of the casing and then from the outside you put another washer and a caping nut and then you just uh, a little bit of trial and error you put them together and look at that how easily that fits in there tight fit and you can't get it out but pulling on them firmly will let you get it out and you can see those scratches there it does fit quite perfectly but loose enough in order to do some maintenance on it but also strong enough so they don't fly out once you give full power on the throttle and it does look really nice I mean seriously that's that's what it's all about so that brings us to step six mounting the housing to the actual ROV so what you got to do is uh, drill another two holes and then attach it to the ROV get a metal bracing or any bracing for that which is the uh, has the right size in order to get it attached to the frame of the ROV and then I do recommend getting rubber washers on the inside and outside now for one reason that is to uh, to make sure that the color foil doesn't get damaged once you really attach them but also to keep vibrations at bay a little bit I mean we have an action cam on here and they do make a lot of noise these engines so I'm not sure if it really works but it does look better it does feel better and uh, once again the metal uh, the foil gets uh, um, doesn't get any abrasion and it's it works out perfectly also on the inside of the frame get some tape on the uh, color foil in order to make sure that the uh, metal bracing doesn't scratch it or anything and once you have all that completed you're done and this is what it looks like if you get a small one like this one which I used on my first design it's pretty sturdy 
once it got larger it got a little wobbly and on the final version which you see here on the left they did get quite shaky and that's also where I used the five millimeter screws but uh, look at that even with the uh, bilge pump motors it does work perfectly I mean absolutely perfectly so go nuts and here's just a little bit of footage of what you're in for and also look for the things that are coming up at the end. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.